today's video i'm gonna show you guys how you can make money trading support and resistance or investing in cryptocurrency using support and resistance you are welcome back again on the betong's media i'm your guy the betong today i want to show you guys how you can make trades or take trades using support and resistance trend line and also the same way you can invest in cryptocurrency like buy sell at different price point knowing what you are doing entry take profits and stop loss is an important aspect when it comes to trading or investment if so you know when to place a buy order and when to take out profit then you are good to make money in cryptocurrency i'm going to show you all this today how i go about trading support and resistance so if say you are new on this platform this is the Betongs Media. You're welcome. Yeah, I talk about cryptocurrency, how you can build wealth with cryptocurrency, and much of that, I talk about how you can promote market and advertise your business if, say, you have one. So, if this kind of content interests you, then you want to go right now and smash the subscribe button, thumbs up, and share this content with someone else out there. Having said that, let me dive right away to show you how I trade support and resistance this is the four hours chart guys i always go to the higher time frame to see the market structure like for example this is the four hours chart and you can see here i've drawn this line and i've already named it like support resistance you can see support support and yeah let me put it, bring this one here support um you know support this is this support is for this line here and you can see this this is the resistance and this is support if see the price is trading above um this um trend line so this is how like if say i i zoom out and show you guys you will see what i'm talking about you can see um the price of bitcoin was falling this is live live chat anyway guys the price of bitcoin was falling 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 and boom we see um pullback right and this pullback has been gradual gradual you see it's like um buyers are holding and more buyers are coming on board to push a price to the upside while sellers cannot push the price more than where it is right now so you can see that um they have been they have been trying to push the price you know but it's going up gradually 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 until the price break this level and you see as they're moving around this support and resistance line let me bring this right here you see support and resistance so this was the support that is here and it has been moving in between this trend line until it breaks here and automatically this support became resistance because you see now if i go to the lower time frame if i go to the 15 minute time frame you know see let me zoom this a little bit so you can see uh, exactly what i'm talking about you know see that um okay let me just zoom this a little bit guys so you can see so this is a lower time frame you can see right now doing it in this style uh, like i drew another trend line here and ever since you see um bitcoin has been following this trend line trading up sideways let me take out this uh, super trend so you guys cannot see okay you see it, it has been trading like sideways this zone is consolidation zone but you can see how the trend line is going from years is like going up 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 and you see bitcoin is, make, is making higher highs and higher lows right and this is good for those of those who are trading you can if you say you place a trade here then you should be up right now i think somehow getting out profit it should be the target the target should, the target to get out profit is at 23 if you say you want to place a trade here like right now anywhere on on this chart is a buy zone right it's a buy zone but you need to know like how the price is trading but you can see it's almost trading in in between this like up up and down like support and resistance on this chart right and it's a good thing because when you're trading support and resistance you already know when you're gonna buy and when you're gonna sell so you know okay if say you want to take out you want to trade like do short 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 trades you can take like buy here yeah, sell here yeah, buy yeah, sell here yeah, buy here yeah. so you already know the zones that you're gonna be selling but guys this is not uh, a good way to, to trade yeah you just want to accumulate more 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 then you can sell when it, the price get to 23 like for me you know these zones because i trade i don't trade features a lot i trade more 
of spot trading so i accumulate more during this zone and i'm gonna sell at 23 because bitcoin for me is more of trading because the, the liquidity is huge so i love to trade bitcoin right and it's easy because it's not that volatile like any other cryptocurrency ethereum also is the same thing and guys always come to like usually i go to the daily chart let me go back again to the daily chart um if say i want to trade the four hours time frame i go to the daily chart and you can see i can already know um, what trend the market is gonna be like if say i realize we are in an uptrend then i'm gonna go to the four hours time frame to look for possible buy trades here and you can see guys here that um i placed an order here i told you guys and this was my my stop loss and my take profit i know bitcoin will move until we get to 23 or 20, uh, 23,000 before it can pull back so that's the price point that i think bitcoin is gonna go to before it can pull back to any level that it want but if see it breaks this 23 and um, 25 price point then it's going straight away to 28,000 dollars so you guys want to pay attention to that but this is how I got I trade support and resistance. I always wait for a pullback. Like for example, let me give you like how I get in in in, in support and resistance trade. Like right now, I, I I'm gonna say okay, this is a support. This is this is trying to build build momentum. Yeah, you can see it's moving, it's shooting sideways. Then I already established that okay, this point is uh, is accumulation zone. I'm gonna see if say the price is gonna break this um like this level. Yeah. You know, the last red candle if the if the price breaks the last red candle and come back to retest this zone then i'm gonna consider this as a buy opportunity and this was i saw the only minute i saw this you can see um price break here this level came up, try to go, uh, go back up to the try to go up but you see um, sellers push it down and buyers held it here and they are trying to push it back up you see it already break this uh, and it's trying to go back right up to three thousand dollars and that's what i'm saying you know you always need to know when to trade you don't have to worry because every week there's an opportunity for you to make money in the market if say you're smart you can make at least something every week or every day because the market always goes up and down every day if you go to the lower time frame like 15 minutes you know see that you see this movement you can take advantage of this movement you know and make some some profit out of it what i'm doing is look at possible trades that i can take like i've i've built all these zones here this as you can see all these lines here they are way they are areas they are areas of demand and supply for me and when i see them immediately i want to buy or sell so i make decisions based on this now i have come to the end of this video if see you face any challenge you know placing your trade or building these support and resistance areas then you can reach out to me go to the description of this video there you're going to find links on how you can connect with me i really want to help people out there to make money in cryptocurrency even if it means you make just one dollar every day it's something in a month you can make thirty dollars you can buy something with it and let's say you're making just ten dollars every day that's huge right in a month you can make up to Three hundred dollars. That's something you can pay for your rent, or buy something for yourself, buy food, or help someone else out there. But for you to do this, you need to understand the different ways to go about making money online. So if this content was helpful to you and you want me to to make more of such content, then you know what to do right now. Go and smash the subscribe button. You like this content so that it reach out to more people. Then share it with your friends as well. Until then, guys, I wanna see you in the next video. But comment below. You see. This video was helpful to you. Bye-bye. <laughs>